Look at this big old bitch. I wish this was mine, but it's not. This is my buddy Chad's golf cart. Thinks it's a 2001 Yamaha, either 01 or 06, not quite sure. She got a big old lift on her, big old buck wheels and tires. And it's wrapped to match his truck. GMC, got the red wrap with the carbon fibre stripes. She got the custom upholstery. Sheesh. Got the back seat where you can do all the the funky fucking, uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and the heart of this beast, come on! Oh yeah, oh yeah. We got a Honda GX 630. It's a big boy motor, big boy motor. So the things that he wants done to this thing, he wants a nice, he wants a tune up, get it running good, running properly. He also wants some kind of step to come off of here because it's lifted so high. I'm not sure how big this lift is, but it's big. So he wants a step. We originally thought like a fold out step, but I got something else in mind. When they're at the campsite doing their camping and whatever sh other shenanigans that they do, you want to be able to get on here and get home safely, you know? You can't be tripping up there, taking a bite out of the leather seat, you know? <laughs> Take chiclets out. And one thing he wanted to keep was this little hook right here. That's for, uh, you know, hauling his shit slider, whatever you wanna call it. That's what this uh, SS stands for, is the GMC shit slider. Yeah, this thing is pretty, pretty sweet. It's got the Jake's lift kit on it. It's got a rear light bar for when he's backing up. It's got front light bars. Little cubes there. Yeah, this thing, it uh, struggles to stay running sometimes when it's cold and it's just, it's really sluggish. So that's, he wants a, wants a tune up. So first things first, you gotta check the air filter, you know? Oh, what the hell is all that, man? What the hell? Look at, you got half a fucking dirt mound in here. Shit, look at that. Well, that's your, that's your problem there, buddy. That thing's seen better days. So we gotta take that off. We gotta clean that, probably get a new one. Just give it a good old, good old tidy, you know what I'm saying? And this, who knows if this fuel's good. Take a good old freaking gander into there. <clears throat> oh man, that's not good. That's not good, you gotta drain that. Shit. So yeah, this thing needs a little bit of loving. How does the fuel filter look? Not too bad. All right, well let's get this air filter off and let's give it some, give it some loving, you know. Synthetic 5W30. We got brand new Honda spark plugs and a brand new Honda oil filter. These uh, spark plugs that were out of this thing are pretty shot. They're pretty black. So we're gonna test the difference between this one and a brand new one. Hey, okay, we've got my little spark tester thing here. Let's see if we can. Nah, I mean, it's not terrible, but may as well put new ones in. Hey, we gotta get rid of this freaking uh, this gas that's in here because, ooh, she's spicy. She don't smell that good. So I got some brand new premium fuel. Get out of there. Don't tell me this was put in before the freaking engine was. Oh, there's a freaking way. Damn, dude. Nice jugs. Oh, look at all the extra room you got. You can fit another engine in there. Another engine. Going to dispose of this? Don't worry about it. I don't know where to put this. Where do I put this? Where do I dump it? I disposed of the old fuel correctly. Brand new premium fuel in there. We put a new uh, fuel line on here. It had two fuel filters in line, which is, which is good. I put a fuel shutoff in here just because I don't have another filter I gotta get a filter so this is just temporary the second filter it looks perfectly clean so I'm hoping we don't have to take the carb off and do a carb rebuild on it so I replaced the spark plugs we're gonna put the air filter and air box and everything back on it's nice and clean now Ooh. oh stinks we'll put it all back on here inside here looks fucking mint me. All right, so now we'll start it and we'll get the oil nice and hot. We'll drain the oil, replace the oil, 
it should be mint. I think the cause of all the problems before was that dirty air filter. Because that would be why the spark plugs are so black, because it wasn't, or getting enough air, so it was running rich. Someone fucking stripped that bolt head, dude. It's a drain plug. It doesn't need to be goddamn torqued to the moon. Chad, is this why you wanted me to do the oil change? Is this why? Is this why? So it's in a dumbass spot and it's tighter than a. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I get it. Oh. Okay, where's all this oil gonna go? How much oil is there? Wait until Chelsea finds out I'm doing an oil change with my good clothes on. She's gonna fall. I'm gonna kill you! Okay. <laughs> there it is. Oh, who put that? That hole is just. Man, dude, I need a rag. Ah! I need a rag. It's nice and nice and juicy. Yeah. Oh, and that. Oil filter is in a great spot too, eh? Oh, oh. Uh, yeah. Are you done? Are you done pissing? It's mint. A little wipey poo. A little wipey poo. Wipe the baby's bum. Give her a little tighten. Don't need to go full frickin' ham. Give it the good old elbow. Uh, click. Now this, I bet you this oil filter is timeless. Motherfucker. Yeah. Shit! Damn! Look at that! Oh! It's all over my hand! Oh! Where's my rig? Um, is this the same one? Oh! Damn right it is! Oh! There it is! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Okay. Fucking wipe up this goddamn lake! Yeah, rub it! Uh, uh, rub it! Look at that! A success! Oh yeah! Beautiful! Beautiful! Just like that! Boom! Done! Ah uh, hey! Put some oil in there. Oh my god. Oh you fuck! It's leaking her up! Fucking overflowing! Hydro locked itself, god damn it, all over the frickin' place. I gotta wipe it all up. Idiot, Cody, you idiot! Oh, oh, shit, doing it again. God, get her in! Can you just fill it with oil? Ow! It's kind of a- Oh shit, I seen it! Didn't spill! This guy stinks! Oh, brother, this guy stinks! There isn't that much, okay? Calm down. Chill your ass cheeks. Oh, shit! Dude, it fires right up. You think I can rev it without driving off? Oh, Jesus! Oh, no! No! Oh, dude. My gimbal's all cocked. Oh no, my camera fell. Fuck! I have never driven this thing before. Seems to run really good. Well, she runs mint. So far, so good. All right, it's time to kind of design a back step for this. What I think I'll do is I'll take a piece of tubing and I'll copy this all the way around and I'll weld the tubing on the inside to this because this is all metal. And then we'll build kind of like two pieces of tubing that kind of come down and then up and then we'll leave a gap in the middle for his hook and then we'll do the same on the other side. Should make it a lot easier for getting on the back and it should look pretty good. So let's start bending some tube. So I was just gonna weld this round tube to this square bar 
but I was just like, nah, I'll cut all these welds and then I'll just get rid of that square bar and then just weld this in where that is. And then we can build steps off of this. I got the step back on here. It's not done, obviously I need to cap the ends and I need to paint it and everything, but. So I need to have two steps. I'm gonna have a step here. There's gonna be a gap in the middle and then a step on this side. So I have this tool. So I marked my halfway point and then I can kind of figure out how I want this step. And then say, say I want it kind of like that. I can measure this angle in here. I already measured it, it's 52.8 degrees. So now I can get a piece of tube, make two bends at 52.8 degrees. We got a step there and then a step on this side. I don't want it hanging down too low. I don't want it to look stupid, you know? So maybe like that maybe. Yeah, and it'll be a nice, nice gradual bend. It'll look good. I hope anyway. All right, let's go bend some more tube. Shit. steps gonna look like. I won't go straight underneath. I'll have it come out a bit so it's more of like a step and then obviously I'm gonna cut the ends here to mold around the tubing really nice. I'm gonna need to make four of these. Two for the back and then one for each side. I'm gonna bend up three more of these off camera and then we'll start trimming the ends, getting it how we want it. Pretty sick dick man! Sick dick! I like it, yeah? Could you imagine a little step here? And then a little, a little glowing nut sack right in the middle there. All right, enough dicking around. Alrighty, we got these little foot pieces done. They look pretty sweet. They're nice and solid. So the back is pretty much done. It just needs paint and then I'm gonna put grip tape on these. I made these little things. They're it's pretty easy. I just kind of just kind of made a bracket. You can't really see it. What I did was I welded it some tabs underneath the golf cart and then I just made these. Cut this at a little angle welded them on and then they bolt up so they're removable. So yeah, some bolt on side steps. So I'll get this done. We'll take it all off, get it ready for some paint, prime it, paint it, and then she'll be done. All right, let's make this other step.
All right, you guys, we got the golf cart done. Got it back to Chad. I want to thank you guys. I hit 1,100 subscribers. That's awesome. It makes me very happy. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't. It helps me out. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. But if it ain't upgraded, you got to upgrade it. See you guys in the next video.